do not follow any standard. So some package uh, use main files, some packages use static, static libraries, some packages can provide some uh, configure script, some packages doesn't provide any, any scripts at all. So uh, each package has to uh, each package requires a lot of manual steps to, to, to make it according to the federal policy uh, standard. I will, I will tell about uh, LinkedIn uh, in the next slide. So all packages, almost all packages are statically by default, and it's uh, a problem in federal distribution, so we have to change it, change the build system to, to do it dynamically. So other issues that uh, are not detailed. Uh, it's not packaged because of the policy, because it already is only one uh, com compiler. This is just uh, from from uh, Resupply Foundation, and uh, as a result, probably uh, the ADA semantic interface specification and distributed system NX will not uh, be packaged in Fedora because of the issue. But if some for you know the uh, ways to fix it. So, uh, sometimes it go we created uh, guidelines how to package uh, data packages uh, in Fedora, because Fedora has uh, own guidelines how to package uh, any packages, and some specific guidelines how to package Python, Java, Erlang, whatever packages. So this data, no, basically no static libraries at all out in Fedora for some uh, for some reason, for some security reasons, for capability reason, uh, and so on. Uh, well, there's some exception from from this point, but uh, this exception not applicable for for the data packages. Well, how to fix it? Basically, some of the packages provided nice configuration to build shared useful libraries, so we have to just pass pass do uh, shared and this will make us happy. Some packages provide uh, option in the make file, but for another one, uh, we have to package, uh, we have to patch uh, project file manually. Plus is a patch for the preview to, to make uh, to make sure that it's a little important something. The main issue is no transplant lives allowed in Fedora at all. So this is uh, very reasonable because because each library uh, should be packaged should be linked dynamically. So uh, there's some, uh, some situation in other Linux distribution that uh, one, one, uh, one library provided by tens of pages. So this is a uh, problem, and the uh, federal policy uh, doesn't allow this uh, no way to, to do this. So some uh, packages from Apicor contains uh, the, uh, the Linux implementation side and uh, or some command source, from the source code uh, inside inside if I remember correctly, this is a uh, grant collection. I can be mistaken here. So we have to remove this library and, and play around uh, uh, make files and project files to give it a system wide library. <coughs> this is minor issue because uh, sometimes uh, packages doesn't uh, don't provide versioning, uh, versioning of the library just uh, dot is so, but it's not allowed by by the standard, so uh, it's necessary to provide the versioning library for for the reason of uh, proper data the system. And uh, so to support multi we have special approach. Uh, uh, not make uh, not make uh, not project file it called uh, directories and each package must include this 
uh, project file in use for all projects to support multi I will yeah. I will show uh, a sure. project file. And but packages must be compiled with uh, without optimization plugs, something like that. Of course, we have some special uh, tools to to make this to pass this uh, plugs plugs uh, correctly to the compiler, not not uh, to the manual type. This uh, and all source packages and uh, object files uh, has to be uh, packaged in a um, different package for developers. It uh, can be uh, for, for the reason if uh, you provide some uh, applications, this application is uh, not library, so user, user of the application uh, doesn't require, require to have all, all these files properties. And project file must be uh, independent from the architecture because we placed it under uh, shared directory, which is uh, architecture independent by the Linux standard. So we have to be ensure that the project file is not uh, dependent on, on uh, architecture. So if you would like to 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 help us to uh, package uh, your application together. It's very easy steps. That option to build shared, you know, shared libraries, uh, address directories, to develop files and so but it's not, not required because it's uh, uh, logic only in Fedora, but uh, yeah. But all library, uh, library directory could be very open to configure the file. Uh, options list or uh, to make it uh, supported by So current implementation contains many packages. Uh, it's a uh, unit test framework for Ada, from Adafer. It's uh, a web server library. Uh, this is a Polaris implementation of POSIX standard. Uh, for Ada, this is uh, Genesis. This uh, workaround uh, around a previous problem uh, with the tilt. This is uh, semantic interface implementation, but independent on, on, on compiler. Oh, it's uh, a net collection uh, build, of course, it's a builder, not. Not only for Ada project, but uh, as well for for C, C plus plus, and other like languages. It's just a building for other Ada. We have version two, so red color. It's outdated libraries for, for some reason. Ah, uh, we have okay. It's a Russian name called Matryoshka, but to to reason. It's a set of libraries to, to build uh, some information system to work with uh, text codex, XML, uh, fast CGI, SPL, OML, etc. It's a very, very big project. Many of the tools are on there. It's definitely XML either because, because uh, most of packages require it, for example, Ada Web Server. Uh, that uh, we require some other and so on. Okay. And we have uh, very convenient uh, So what is our plans for now? This is uh, support of uh, ARM and uh, ARM64 uh, architecture. Fedora supports uh, them. We already have uh, well, we have compiler built for, for for this architecture, but uh, we didn't pass it through review from from the community yet. But in plans and packages actually already I actually ready for it 
video is for your review without uh, distributed systematic support set of bigger review. It's a TK ADA USB version 3. It's Qtel, uh, ADA being uh, for Qtel library. We had some attempts to to package GPS. Uh, some of them uh, were on review, but for some reason, review, uh, package uh, went away. I don't know why, but unfortunately, we don't have this uh, very, very useful uh, application at all yet. And you can package. Your, your own application, if you have some examples, of course we can, we can help you to, to make it very easy uh, accessible for a wide community of the world. Otherwise, we have uh, also uh, in the group, so to make uh, packaging uh, easy, it should be one common sign of it, which should install most of the packages. And we already have uh, a special interest group. Yeah, it can be found here. So their list of resources, this is the uh, interesting uh, group. This is our packaging guidelines, how to package uh, how to package application to make it uh, in Fedora. And this is our mail list. The developers team uh, so basically and one interesting part that we can find here but this is from, from the not programming languages any questions okay. any questions uh, yeah so uh, Pavel uh, it's for the presentation mm -hmm. is there any information in this uh, Effort will come from Fedora to Red Hat's commercial distributions, right? I don't have a So there is no chance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>